Well, on the ride yesterday, we had a stop shifting the bike got stuck in fourth eventually and I thought that there were serious problems with the gearbox I just turned this and I thought for sure that I was going to have some serious gear problems because uh, it's stuck in fourth and I've always been able to shift with a broken detent spring I've always been able to move the cam plate so I pulled this out and thanks to the magnetic drain plug I was able to have this captured by that magnet and not float around the gearbox and really this is the weak link in the gearbox of a BSA unit single uh, there's not much that you can do to a box if it's been assembled properly that you could break it I've revved my gearbox ridiculously and abused it if that would be the term to use and uh, broken detent springs are usually the only thing that I have uh, go wrong with it um, other than perhaps a nut coming off the main shaft or loosening or something. But these are the spares. These are aftermarket and they're quite a bit thicker and I'm not sure I want to try them but they are a bit thicker than the stock detent spring here. This one has an extreme bend to it. It's been bent by somebody but this one has a pretty good bend too. So here is the uh, the stock and here is the aftermarket and you can see that it's not as bent the aftermarket one which is the first one here so there is a difference there and there is a difference in thickness as well mm, probably only a few thou but still it makes a difference in the spring <clears throat> so we're gonna put one of these in and now I thought I was gonna be screwed, well, messed up for going to the bike show and I was going to have to fix the R3 and make it run before this show. And I, I'm still trying to reach that goal. But now I know my detent spring is what broke. And I had predicted that yesterday in the actual video. So sometimes you're right. Sometimes it's wishful thinking that nothing else is wrong. But this time I was right. And the bike will be back together within a morning. So five to six hours it took me maybe an hour and a half to organize the garage and take the gearbox and clutch apart and stuff like that and I actually took the clutch uh, hub off without using a puller by just tapping it once the uh, gearbox side was loosened off and all the nuts and bolts were taken off the clutch side and uh, don't forget those two screws at the bottom of the inner timing case on a unit single because a lot of people hammer that and think too late that those bolts are holding it in and you'll definitely put stress on those and once in a while on eBay you'll see one with broken bosses on the bottom of those inner timing cases from people malleting them off despite the allen screw that's still in so keep an eye on that and also remember your kickstart return spring stud which is a hex head with a small turned end on it end of it uh, you want to make sure that that is taken out as well sometimes people omit that including myself so <clears throat> don't abuse your bike and it will last a long time this dent detent spring lasted probably mm, 15 to 20,000 miles maybe 10,000 maybe and uh, it was a used one so it was an older type and I haven't used one of these yet so I'm not sure whether I'm gonna risk it but I will try I think and see if it holds up longer so there you go most bulletproof gearbox BSA, BSA made in the 60s and 70s has to be the unit single gearbox I think and its weak link is this detent spring they should have put a plunger in with an indexer like I find on the R3 and the Triumph T150 and a plunger wouldn't have failed probably as much as this but then again if you look at those gearboxes they're quite a bit more complex than a BSA 4 speed unit single and uh, even with just the actual engagement of the actual uh, gears themselves it's a much simpler design layout and it's also a cassette gearbox so it comes out in one piece so that's my unit single detent spring lesson of the day and I hope everybody had a good day I went to a bike show and it seemed that there was about six Harleys for sale and one Triumph that I formerly worked on trying to get rid of that bike for somebody and uh, discovered that the gearbox uh, outer gearbox cover uh, kickstart ratchet had problems it had not been tightened down when it was sold for a lot of money 
So, never judge a book by its cover. It's the bikes that are dirty and grubby that usually are being used so much the guys don't have time to clean them. They're fixing them and riding them hard. So, get out and use your bike. That's what they're for. And uh, otherwise, it's just sitting there as a piece of art. See ya.